Cats often give off an air of self-sufficiency, but beneath that poised exterior lies a sensitive creature attuned to our actions and environment. Here are the top seven ways you might unintentionally cause your cat emotional distress. Number one, ignoring them when you come home. When you come home and don't acknowledge your cat, not even with a quick gentle pat, they do take note. Cats form attachments to their owners in subtle yet significant ways. A study conducted by Oregon State University found that cats form secure and insecure attachments with their human caregivers, much like dogs and even children. When their owner ignores them, especially at a time when they're naturally wired to greet or engage. Like when you return home, it can create a sense of insecurity in them. When you get home, always take a moment to greet your cat, look for them, say their name, and offer a stroke or a scratch behind the ears. This small gesture acknowledges their presence and importance in your life. It reassures them that they are a valued part of your world. Number 2. Overlooking their hunting instincts Even the laziest couch potato of a cat has a natural instinct to hunt. It's wired deep into their DNA, a trait inherited from their ancestors. When this instinct is not acknowledged or satisfied, it can lead to a bit of a kitty crisis. One common mistake cat owners make is using a laser pointer for play without giving their cat a tangible reward at the end. Here's what happens, your cat chases that elusive red dot with all the focus and energy they can muster, but when the game ends and there's nothing to catch, it can be quite frustrating for them. So at the end of a laser pointer play session, offer them a physical object they can pounce on and catch. It could be a stuffed toy or a treat. This gives them a sense of achievement and completes their natural hunting cycle. Number 3. Disregarding their preferred petting zones. You might have noticed that some cats love a good chin scratch, while others might purr happily when you stroke their back. Yet there are areas, like their belly or the base of their tail, that many cats find too sensitive or even threatening when touched. These preferences can also change. A cat that may have enjoyed belly rubs as a kitten might grow to dislike them. Pay attention to how your cat responds to being petted in different areas. Start with safe zones like the base of the ears, the cheeks, and under the chin. If they seem comfortable and relaxed, you can gradually try other areas. But always be mindful of their reactions. If they show any sign of discomfort, it's time to stop. Number 4, not respecting their space. Cats have their favorite spots around the house, a cozy corner, a sunny windowsill, or under the bed. These places are their safe havens, where they can unwind, observe, or simply enjoy some alone time. When we encroach upon these spaces, particularly when they retreat to them, it sends a signal that their boundaries are not respected. Respecting their space is crucial. It means not picking them up when they're comfortably settled somewhere, not disturbing them when they're sleeping, and not following them when they retreat to their hideaway, number 5, scolding or punishing them. Cats are very much creatures of the moment. They don't make connections between actions and punishments like we might expect them to. If you scold them, they don't understand that they're being reprimanded for something they did. Instead, they're likely to feel confused or scared because their trusted human is suddenly angry or loud. The key is redirection and providing alternatives. If your cat is scratching the furniture, offer them a scratching post and encourage them to use it. If they're jumping on counters, try to find out why and address the root cause. Maybe they're curious or looking for food. In that case, provide more enrichment or ensure they're fed regularly. Number 6. Loud Noises or Yelling Cats are built to pick up the slightest rustle of a mouse in the grass, which means loud noises in our human world can be startling and even frightening to them. When a cat is frequently exposed to loud sounds like yelling, loud music, or even the booming noise from a TV, it can create a constant state of stress and anxiety for them. Yelling in particular can be very detrimental. When they hear raised voices, whether it's someone shouting at them or just a loud conversation, they don't understand the context. 
All they know is that the environment feels unsafe and unpredictable. It's not just about immediate reactions either. Over time, a cat living in a noisy environment may become more withdrawn or exhibit signs of stress like overgrooming or a change in eating habits. Number 7, ignoring their communication attempts. Cats might not be able to speak our language, but they certainly have their own ways of communicating with us. This includes vocalizations like meowing or purring, as well as actions such as bringing toys to you or rubbing against your legs. Each of these behaviors is a way for them to interact and connect with you. Meowing, for instance, is a behavior cats have developed primarily to communicate with humans. A study by the University of Georgia found that adult cats don't usually meow at each other, but they do meow at humans. This means that when your cat meows, they're trying to tell you something. It could be that they're hungry, want attention, or are just saying hello. Ignoring their meows can make them feel like their efforts to reach out to you